my god, turn the light on. Reap, <laughs> turn the light on. Investigator of North Texas Paranormal. Um, we have been doing this for about 10 years now. We go around the country. We've been to Gettysburg and Colorado and New Orleans and investigate all these cool historic haunted places. We use um, an EMF meter. Uh, it's an electromagnetic field meter. Uh, electricians use it to find like leaky outlets and stuff. But we use it to see if we can pick up on energy that Ghosts might give off. We use uh, EVP recorders, which is your basic voice recorder. Um, we use that to capture voices that we may not hear at this, the time of our questions. Flashlights, which I always forget, but, but we think of spirits or ghosts as just people. Um, if there's different kind of people in the world, there's different kind of spirits. I've never encountered a negative one, but I wouldn't you know count it off because there are bad people in the world. I think there are probably bad, you know, Caspers floating around, but. Um, you know, I think that there are different kinds and you can feel the energy when you walk into a place. You can tell kind of what's in store for you. Just go in here. Oh, clearly it was raining. Our goal is to find evidence and to extinguish the fear. Like our kind of group motto is to honor the past, investigate the unknown, and replace fear with understanding. So that's kind of what we want to do is show that it's not scary all the time. It can be, and for those people that are experiencing it in their homes, yeah, it is scary, but um, it's not dangerous. Become so surreal when you're like here, you know. What are you expecting to find tonight? I don't. I'm not expecting to find anything. I'm kind of just open to like anything that, if anything, makes itself known. I don't. I don't know that we'll find anything, considering that this is a very like old graveyard, you know. I don't. I would like to think that the spirits aren't here anymore since it's been like since 1890, you know. So I'm just kind of open. Can you just briefly explain what you're doing right now? Yes, I am using um, an infrared still camera to see if I can capture a picture of anything. You can also take video. And then I've got the digital voice recorder on top of this tombstone right here. And it's already recording. Okay, if there's anyone here with us, can you cross these rods like an X? They won't hurt you. I just want you to let us know if you're here. Can you cross them like an X? Okay, thank you. If you're a girl, can you make them touch my shoulders? If you're a girl, can you make them touch my shoulders? If you're a boy, can you make them cross like an X?
you know, it's definitely spooky, like, especially at first when there was a lot of activity, but there's been kind of, you know, successes and just nothing happening, yeah. so I'm really not sure how to feel. I was seeing Nicole use them, and which was already like, wow, and then I did, and it, like, I know I wasn't moving the rods like myself, like I could feel something just like swaying it and he was responding to the questions that I was asking and he was doing what I was telling him to do depending on what I was asking. He would cross them in an X, he would keep them straight, he would make them touch my shoulders. He pointed to where he said he was buried. Um, and it was so many times consistently, it was interesting. So now we're going to the newsroom. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got done at the infant cemetery. Yeah. So um, we always, we work late nights all the time and sometimes some of us are here alone. And it's been like a standing, you know, rumor or myth that there's a ghost in the newsroom, especially at night. And so today we're coming back to see if we can find any activity. We're gonna find out if we got a ghost. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, we'll see. I hope there is one. Some people say that this area um, where the receptionists sit is particularly sensitive to paranormal activity. Um, so we're just going to set them up, one in here, uh, one facing this way, and then a couple out this way so that we can get all our bases covered. Humanology is really interesting. I have a couple books on it but sometimes it gets creepy when you're reading it. You kind of feel like you're opening that door a little bit more, and I don't want that door opened for me. <laughs> Once you open that door, can you close it? I don't think so. They say that the demons and demonology is like a network, and once they know your name, they never forget it. With both rods, please, please point to where you are. If you are a girl, could you please make the rods touch my shoulders? If you're a girl, make the rods touch my shoulders, please. If you're a boy, make them straight like railroad tracks. If you're a man, make them straight like railroad tracks. If you're a woman, could you please touch my shoulders? Could you make both rods touch my shoulders if you're a woman? Come on. Almost there. Do it again. Could you please point to where you are with both rods? Come on. Use the other rod to point to where you are, please.
people see things like around here and through this door here. What type of things do they see, Shay? Um, movement, people see movement, people see figures, they've heard. This is also kind of the general area where we hear noises. Uh, yeah, sometimes we think it's fine. Direction. Yeah, the receptionist desk or in here. And so definitely this is a place that is of suspicion. If you're tired or weak, try to cross these into an X. Cross them into an X, please. I see you're trying, but I think you're struggling. Can you cross them into an X? Keep going. Please, keep going. Thank you. Do you want us to leave you alone so you can rest? If you think you sh we should leave you alone to rest, straighten them out as much as you can. We'll leave if you want us to. Straighten them out as much as you can if you want us to let you rest and we can leave. Okay. Thank you for talking to us. Um, I'm a little in shock just because I saw like he was having a hard time responding to Caitlin. Um, and he was still having a hard time responding to me, but he was doing it. Um, and I think he wants us to leave. <laughs> so we'll do that. Let's go. <laughs> so we went to an infant cemetery and also here in the newsroom, which is in the basement of the university center. And in both places I had direct experiences with what we think was some sort of spirit or a ghost. I've always thought that, you know, we weren't on this earth alone and that we are surrounded by spirits and ghosts in certain areas. Um, I went into this not really knowing what to expect. I've always believed in like ghosts and um, just people like kind of wandering around, you know, in the afterlife. I've always kind of had a sense for these things. And just going to like the cemetery and like coming here to the newsroom, it's just like surreal for me. So we just got back from ghost hunting and I gotta say, I wasn't really expecting a lot, but we got more than I guess I bargained for. We saw a lot of different things with the dowsing rod specifically. And I thought the baby cemetery was creepy and kind of like the most we would see of the night, but really it didn't hit me till we were in the newsroom where we spend countless hours and I saw like just the consistency and even the logical nature of the answers that it really definitely made me suspicious. I wouldn't say I 100% believe in ghosts at all, but I definitely now am more open-minded about it. Honestly, I've always been a believer in the supernatural ghosts, demons, and all that. And this this whole experience tonight just it just reinforced my beliefs because there was some things. Uh, it, it was a feeling that I couldn't explain. So I came into this whole thing very skeptical, um, and honestly, I'm walking out a skeptic still. Uh, we saw a lot. In terms of the dowsing rods, the dowsing rods were very successful. Um, and it was all, you know, it really piqued my interest. The things that we saw and the things that we heard. But I don't know that it necessarily 
sells me as supernatural. Um, if anything, it just makes me want to do my research and look more into the technology that goes into uh, this ghost hunting equipment because that was the most fascinating to me was how these things worked.